got in this new refrigerator, R600. Somebody has tried a relay. Probably a bad compressor. All right, we're just gonna pull the relay off and test the compressor terminals real quick. From common to run, 5.7 from common to start, 8. And from start to run, 13. Hmm. That's good. Seems a little high. It's not shorted. Everybody wanted an update. We are on zero and full of ice. And that was the first 134 from R600 conversion. So far, so good. R600 out. 134. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting ready to pull that compressor, getting the feet off of there. This one has the straps, so you just straighten the tabs out and you twist the straps and they come right off. All right, time to light it up like a pot belly stove. Just gonna pull all the lines out real quick. The R600 compressors have a smaller footprint, but the R134 compressor will still sit in there and it will still bolt up and everything. Uh-oh, I broke the most important wire. Dang it, I don't know if it's gonna work anymore. Yeah, I was trying to bend that suction side around, that way I could just slip it right on in, but I'm gonna have to cut it and repipe it. Whew, it's hot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel.
Boom, boom. Of course they had to recess this into plastic up there, so I'm about to light it on fire. This is where I knew I was screwed on that steel line. Dang, I think I forgot to hook up the most important wire.
Not too bad. It's already starting to cool down, so we'll keep an eye on it like we did the other one. And uh, hopefully it turns out just as good. This was that one with the inverted compressor. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.